Learning how to give and receive feedback might be a powerful skill. The challenge is how we have these conversations that empowers the other to achieve their purpose. In organizations, feedback is a tool linked to development, mostly because it allows us to see how our actions have an impact on others. For coaches, it's how we can tell our clients what we feel. In everyday life conversations, it's a skill that helps us speak without judging, without making the other person feel attacked. The Executive Coaching Certification Program is a live, online, hands-on experience that specifically enables you to structure and have effective feedback conversations. Learn to give your feedback as a gift. If you don't share with me your point of view about something I do, you're taking away the opportunity for me to grow. And if I keep something that I could share with you about what you do, I'm taking away from you the opportunity to change something for the better. This is also what we call mirror feedback, the one we use when we reflect what the other person is doing or how they are behaving or how we see what they are doing. It's a type of feedback we give simply because we care about the other. We just mirror what they do and express how we feel about it. Learn to give your feedback as an opinion and make sure this opinion is useful to the other person you are giving it to. Base it on facts. When you give feedback and you remember that it's just your opinion, you'll do it from a humble place, not as if what you say is a truth, you stamp on the other person, but as a way of seeing them, the way of perceiving or feeling something. And when you receive feedback, learn that what you hear is just another person's opinion, and this is not what you are. It's how someone else sees what you are doing. Learn to receive feedback from a lighter place so you are able to freely act on it, choosing if you want to do something about it or not and avoid confusing that what you hear is an absolute truth. Finally, there is another type of feedback you'll train in the program, a skill we call fit forward, where besides mirroring how we feel about what another person does, we also attend to a specific need. Because after the feedback conversation, something different happens on how both parties behave. In this fit forward type of feedback, we usually close a conversation with new requests commitments and offers, and probably some negotiation on which behaviors are more interesting for both of us in order to achieve the desired result we both want. So, feedback is a gift, it's an opinion, it has a positive intention. When giving feedback, you should ask yourself, why am I giving this feedback? What is the intention behind it? Let this intention connect you with what you want to happen in the relationship after giving that feedback. It's not about your feeling better, it's about what you want for the both of you. If it's feedback, it has a positive intention. Improve your skills and feedback conversations. Throughout the Executive Coaching Certification Program, you will be fully exposed to giving and receiving feedback through specific training webinars and also through your role as a coach and as a peer giving feedback to your classmates.